I come back from a week long vacation and this is what we get. Oh my goodness gracious. What's going on everybody? It's Jared Shabak at it again, coming at you with a three day late update video for the balance passage just recently dropped here again, fam. I know you guys have already seen this, but considering the balance passage they drop after all the things have been done over the past years and talking about the improvements and where I got, I got to make a comment on this. I got to make a comment. So again, as always, like we do in fashion, I want to, I want to separate myself from the other content creators, but not really focusing on the whole balance patch in a nutshell, but I want to focus on the ones to watch the ones that I think may impact the meta in an interesting way. And hopefully you guys uh, can agree with that. Again, if you guys have any comments about the ones that you feel are going to be the ones to watch, do me a favor, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, before we get into the video, thank you guys for clicking on a three day old video. God bless you all. Thank you all so much for your support. If you guys didn't catch the video uh, that I dropped yesterday, the super small video, I will be streaming today, 12 PM central standard time. We're going to be doing a fun little chronicles stream uh, featuring the fantastic creator events. So if you guys are excited about that, definitely check it out. If you guys are one of those people out there that do play some of these chronicles, stay tuned because we do have a code that we're going to give given away to one lucky winner on the global server as well as the Korean server. Okay. So, okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it again. I got to just address the meme out there, uh, that I use for the, th <laughs> for the thumbnail. Come on. Like, bro, like does seem like continue to what, 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 what are we doing here, man? What's going on here? This is this is the biggest joke of all time. You know, I was I was talking to Stoic on the side here, my man. He was like, literally, like, is this an early April Fool's joke? Because I mean, if it is, you got me. Like, you got me. Like, no, man, this is the real deal. But you never know. What if did? What if Comptoist did drop? Like, oh, hey guys, all these changes we made for a week is gone. Here's the real deal. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first unit that I thought um, was pretty cool that might have an impact for again. I'm, this is I don't even know why I'm mentioning this. For the for the point zero zero two percent people out there that have it, I just want to give credit to them because I know they're going to get mad if I don't address it. The ignore defense from the dark Triss, that's a pretty big impact here. Thirty percent for every harmful effect granted on the enemy, uh, to all the way up to fifty percent. Obviously, there was a a big big push on providing you know units with like tons and tons of harmful effects. But now you don't have to really be too aggressive here. You can set this one up, do additional damage, and make this unit shine. Uh, like you would want from a, from a big AOE damage, ignore defense kind of a unit here. So really, really cool feature, a really, really cool change on that one. That's going to be nice. Um, now here's the funny thing about the next one here. Um, I want to, I want to give a little, I want to give a little love to the devil maidens. I want to get a, give a little love to the devil maidens because again, they got that ability here. I think it's the water dark that had the reflecting ability. Um, which is kind of unique, very uh, something that we just don't really see. But the fact that they added the grants of it's forcing the opponent to attack it and, and you know, you know, generate that reflect. Um, I do like that. I think that's going to be maybe they're not like, you know, people aren't going to be super focused on it, not going to use it heavily. But I do like the fact that they're going to make people kind of kind of figure out what they want to do, because that's this is just going to be a really annoying unit to deal with. Um, similar to like a Monado or something like that, where you just have that, you know, count, uh, you know, passive ability to kind of provide that, cre you know, uh, threat state where it's just going to be super annoying. Are people going to want to deal with it versus some other big threat in their lineup? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, this is definitely part of my top three. Again, if I, I, I got like five, I want to talk about a top three for me. Uh, Archangel without question is up in there. Uh, bring this one down to a four turn cooldown. I think when it's currently maxed out, it'll be two turn cooldown, even though the recovery is a little bit lower. Um, just keep in mind that this does come with the defense buff, right? So defense buff is really, really strong. Given the fact that we're talking about uh, Archangels here, to provide a little value as far as mitigation goes, as far as overall, even overall damage too, um, when their defense scale went out, obviously that's going to be a really, really nice candidate. Uh, super excited for everybody. You know, the 0.2% of people out there that do have the light Archangel, that's going to be super, super nasty here. Um, but yeah, anyways, so now I'm, I'm super excited to talk about this. I know a lot of people are not going to decide about it because it's a 10% break, but in, again, this is another one of my... <sighs> top five, top three here. And I'm actually going to be probably the next video is going to be testing this one out to see how much of a 10% difference this is the fire chimera. Um, I'm <laughs> funny enough. This actually came at a good time because I have a, a video out for the water chimera after I put out the wind chimera. I don't know if it's dropped just yet, but it'll be out here shortly. Um, the fire chimera is one of those units out there that I really never gave a lot of love to back in the day. But of course, after the change, uh, I think it, uh, you, months ago to a year ago, having that counter attack ability on the collapse. I thought it was pretty unique. I thought it was pretty nice. But again, it seemed like kind of like a like a fire lich and Taris kind of thing where it's like, yeah, it's supposed to proc 30% of the time, but it seems like it never does when you have the unit. Um, now, when I think about the 40% chance, I feel like I think about the dark BBK with the 40% chance of that additional. I feel like this might be something that's going to actually 
proc can be super annoying. Again, we have that ability to provide that provoke, that control um, can be really, really interesting that the opponent is not using any kind of immunity to kind of counteract this. So definitely in the in the category there, this one's gonna be, again, like a one to watch for me. Um, it is super annoying. Um, it does, it does, uh, it does control some of the, you know, super, you know, uh, broken meta units out there, especially the win category, all the meta units out there. Um, this can, this can put a damper on it. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'll give them a shout out. I think they did, uh, make, make people want to use the interest more when the interest came out was having fun with it, but I just felt like it didn't, it didn't sit home with me even after the recent, uh, change that they made to it. Um, but now being able to reduce this. Uh, cooldown time by two turns. It's definitely going to be cycling a little bit better. So I'm actually excited to utilize some of the units that I have. As you guys know, uh, if you guys remember, Water Indra was my kind of like number one one that I wanted when this uh, this thing dropped. So now with this one in the mix here, having another unit kind of like uh, the Fire Chimera to provide that provoke there. I'm actually excited to to see what I can do with this one. Um, I have like a really really weird, um, super fast, super tanky uh despair set that i want to mess around with i still have it on it i think so i'm excited to go ahead and do that um so that's in my category as well again rounding out that top three to top five there um i gotta give some love to the twin angels here um this is one of those units out there that when they came out i thought that was going to be absolutely broken but now you know they've kind of fine-tuned some of the units that they have in there and now we're going to just have more opportunity to do more damage if we're talking about the fire one or just be able to provide the immunity uh, as well for the wind, uh, sorry, the wind, dark, and, and fire as well. So again, for the fire one, they got a pretty substantial uh, improvement on it. Really like the changes on it. And of course, uh, the water twin angels being able to take that HP recovery down and provide the defense break. It is good because now we got the combination of the strip and defense break. But again, it is 30% chance. I think it can get an improvement. So I'm not super excited about it. But it is nice to kind of have that combination if you are limited on the uh, stripping defense slight, you know, uh, type of units here that you do have. So I think that's going to be a fantastic change nonetheless here. Now, again, <laughs> I got to skip the video here to talk about that. Uh, last but not least, uh, that and, and again, I already talked about like three to four, my, my bottom end of the top five, right? If we talk about top three to top five, this is the bottom end of the top five. I'm going to categorize them both um, because they're just, they're, they're just kind of like, they're just wishy-washy, right? They're just not, this is not super exciting when it comes to balance patches, uh, you know, compared to previous ones, right? Um, Pure A, I do like the changes. The one one for sure, really, really nice. You know, heavy damage dealer, heavy defense breaker. Um, now, for those of you guys that do utilize this one in a uh, speed run kind of fashion, I think this unit is going to be definitely getting a lot, a lot of love. Um, again, most of you guys that already have it already use it. So now it's just going to provide a little more buy and being able to cycle uh, its abilities a little bit more because of the attack bar absorption uh, on the first skill, excuse me, on the third skill as well as having that attack bar improvement on the uh, second skill, the air slash here. So again, obviously, if you run into kind of some, you know, inconsistency and lose a little bit of damage, you're not going to get the full value because of the HP needed to be full uh, on there. But it's still good. Nonetheless, I do like the change on that. i um, super excited for the people that actually use it. Um, we got the Dark Parade. Love the change on this one. Dark Forest. Remember, it has that ability to do massive amounts of damage and it gets that full attack bar as well. So again, being able to cycle those skills, it's going to be a little bit easier to do it. And if you are one of those people out there to use it in a PVE speed combo fashion, it's great because again, big damage, uh, neutral element, you're going to be able to take, um, you know, you're going to make it, be able to make that one shine here. Um, last but not least, we got the Neo stone agents here. A couple of changes here. Do like the fire and the wind change. I'm actually a big fan of, um, uh, the wind one, because I feel like this one, I mean, obviously a lot of people out there that, you know, uh, utilize siege or to uh, play siege, you know, they use, they use both these, right? These will pretty popular, but the, the lockdown one, like when Neil Stone agent, I was a huge component of the bulldozer Rakuni, uh, Olivia combination. I thought that thing was absolutely amazing. Of course, with Rakuni, there's not super, uh, a ton of use out there for some kind of immunity. Um, if you're utilizing that in, in, in that fashion here, but it is nice to have that nonetheless, the immunity to kind of back that up here. It is one turn, but it's just a nice little add to the mix. Nice little icing on the cake, if you may say, if you say so, um, to go ahead and incorporate that so that if you want to use a, a different kind of unit out there that can provide a little bit more value to the, to the strategy you're trying to, to create. Um, now you got that little combination here. And again, Remember guys, Olivia, when the Sony just super low cooldowns here, I think it's a two turn cooldown, the second skill, three turn cooldown on a third. So, I mean, again, with the violence set, um, 
this could be really, really strong. And that's kind of right. The reason why it was already good already combining the recruiting, utilizing the skill to, to research and just kind of allow this into the cycle over and over again. I do like the change. The immunity is nice. Um, it's always good to have a little bit more protection here. So again, um, that's going to be pretty much it in the nutshell. We got a couple of fun units. So out of the, out of the units that, um, I'm excited about, I, I apologize in advance. I, I do see the sun chance on the water game for, I do see that. I do love that, but just the ones that, you know, kind of stuck out to me that got me uh, a little excited about, um, with the devil maidens, I think that's just going to be super annoying to deal with. Um, the chimera, um, going to be interesting to see if that 10% plays a very, very strong role. And then of course the, you know, recent changes on the twin angels being able to, and the, and the interests are kind of like that. They're, they're kind of tied for that top three for me. Um, being able to cycle their abilities on the intro, really, really nice. And the twin angels, just being able to, like I said, mix and match some of those things that people are really, really looking for when it comes to RTA comp, the stripping, the defense break and the attack, you know, attack bar, the immunity. And we just got, you know, a couple more things to kind of use in our arsenal here to try to get that opponent down. So I do like those here. Again, the honorable mentions, the top four, the top five in my categories for one to watch are the units like the parades, the Neo Stone agents, um, didn't mention the water slayer because I think there's, uh, the change is just not enough, but again, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. A lot of you guys have been testing these units out over the last three days. After you've tested this out, definitely put your opinion down below. Let me know what you guys think about that. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Again, fam, thanks again for watching. If you guys want to see a little bit more content, uh, in two hours time, um, I will be streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash charities for your We're going to be doing some summoners for chronicles. I will have my, you know, farm and my summoners were on the side, but we're going to be focusing on the summoners for chronicles event. Um, and to see if we can clear out some events, uh, throughout that time that we're here. Okay. Thanks again for watching like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.